Welcome back. All right, today I think what we're going to do is we are going to update the uh, firmware on this machine just to see if we can get any better results out of uh, the uh, whole issue. I kind of, I don't know, I, I kind of doubt it, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, as you've seen in the previous video, it, it, it kind of just uh, is still unusable. Um, but we're going to do the updates after all that just to see and because they, they want all the updates uh, done before we go to the next step, uh, whichever the next steps may be, um, wake up. And so, here we go. Uh, All right, as you can see, it is updating. So we'll, we'll keep letting her go, letting it run until um, that update will keep climbing. Um, as you can see, it shows the percentage line. It takes a while. Um, when I first started that, it, it you know, it's been running for three or four minutes so far. So I'll come back when it is, um, when this one has finished. Um, this is the DSP that we're updating. Um, and then we got one more update and we'll see what happens. By the way, this is what the screen actually looks like on the inverter when it's happening. It just says yes. Um, and it's it's continuing so far we haven't bricked it <laughs> hopefully that doesn't happen that would be my luck we're um it's still transferring okay it says update successful on that one um i haven't okayed it or done anything like that the inverter still shows the <laughs> oh it's actually rebooted that part so let's see we're, before we do any any major things, we're going to do the other update, um, just because uh, I want to get them properly both done, and then we'll test it out and see if anything changed. Okay, this one is a little bit different. Uh, the window doesn't show clearly the, the update status other than the bar. Um, during this update for the remote, <laughs> the the remoter, the, I mean the uh, inverter is quiet. The screen is off, um, but it is still is still doing its thing. Uh, the bar is moving, so we're gonna just let her wind up and see what what happens. All right, it says that one is updated, so um, I think what we're gonna do is uh, trying to figure out where that glare is coming from. Oh, it's <laughs> let's see if we can get rid of that. Anyway, in the meantime, uh, I think what we're going to do is uh, reboot it and see what we get. All right, well, we're all updated and we're just booting it up to find out exactly what's going to happen. Zoom up a bit. It seems to, it definitely doesn't, uh, still won't invert, um, and things like that. So it hasn't gotten worse. The only thing that it does do is occasionally it throws an error, an er error 89. Of course, now it's going to do pass through. Um, now, if I turn the battery on and trigger it to uh, to try to use the to charge the battery and whatnot, it still causes an issue, and then you have to wait a good five minutes or so or better um, before it before it will um, let you operate it again. We're going to show you uh, exactly. Turn that light off because that's just bright. All right, so now I'll kick in the, the battery. In fact, we are going to turn that light on so we can see when 
when it stops. Um, what you'll notice is that it will go through sometimes it takes it a while and it will it will start to now I think it's gonna go into like a charge mode but it never really charges um, Fan that light away a bit. Yeah. And eventually, what will happen is it will error out. Um, I don't know how long I'll have to sit here and hold this and film before it does. Sometimes it does, and sometimes it takes it a while. So I will, I will pause, and I'll come right back once it errors. Okay, it appears that it's not going to error on its own. So let's remove the grid. Let's just remove the grid from it. And there, see? Remove the grid, and it pretty much instantly goes to that. And the F. Well, this time it's an F34. Um, now, what will probably happen now if I can make it okay it's not gonna matter if and when I kill this battery I would say that I won't be able at all to um, to get it to start going back through uh, pass through or bypass whichever you want to refer to it I'm going to the reason it's dark here let's <laughs> at least do that um, I'm going to reestablish the grid to it um, and see if it will now boot back up and begin begin its um, pass through again. I uh, highly doubt it. I think what it's going to do now since it crashed out is... Um, it's going to do its little want to go into an error mode and then just freeze up. Uh, there's the there's the, the error that never shows. And we'll see. Showing no battery. So we don't have the battery hooked up. And I don't even think that I can trigger it to go on its own. Um, let's try it. Come on. Talk to me. <laughs> now you're gonna beep at me. Here we go. All right, we turn it on. Yeah, there's no relay. Um, no relay noise or anything like that. And that's just how it'll sit now. Um, unless I give it, say, five or ten minutes of not running. Then when I come back out and do it, it will uh, it'll go back into pass-through mode. But, so that's it. The, the update didn't do it any harm. Uh, and in fact, it seems like if it was working, that it would actually be pretty, um, pretty responsive, pretty decent. Uh, firmware update, but uh, that didn't fix it. So no change.